So uh, first of all, uh, there was, uh, of course, uh, the launch of the Google uh, Chromecast. So uh, Google launched uh, this uh, $35 device, uh, and I'm sure uh, most listeners will have already heard about it, uh, which... Uh, is essentially just a little dongle that you attached at the, at the back of any HDMI enabled TV or screen and allows you to connect uh, to a variety of services uh, and also to connect your Chrome browser on your um, laptop or tablet uh, to uh, this dongle so that you can stream anything in, into that. Uh, so that's that's really cool and uh, uh, you know, from what from the reviews that I've seen, uh, a number of services already work on it, like Pandora, for example. And uh, the other interesting development in this is that uh, the UK entertainment giant B Sky B launched uh, its own box in the UK here for non-subscribers, uh, which costs only nine pounds ninety-nine, and this is a little Apple TV-like uh, streaming device, which uh, uh, comes with a variety of services already built in, and it includes the option of subscribing to uh, a. Spotify as well, which uh, is, uh, you know, we'll have the Spotify app right from the outset, making it a very compelling entry into the streaming market for more mainstream folks that may just see uh, this little box for £10 and say, I'm going to pick it up and, and, and do something with it. So, uh, I mean, f from my side, I'm seeing uh, a rise in consumption from Apple TVs, uh, but that's still related to the video side. And, uh, and so, Yvette, well, how do you feel about, the, you know, the TV actually taking over your music consumption as well and do you feel like that's an area that we'll uh, we'll see develop uh, uh, in the next few months too yeah i mean it's great to see uh, b sky b doing um this this new stuff but i think for me you know, i lis i can listen to music on my tv now yeah. but i don't you know and i think there's a big issue there because we haven't really moved on apart from you know it's still point and click when you look at television as a technology and yeah. i think we need to move on from that and make it you know a compelling user experience before the mass market comes to listen to music on their television yeah yeah. Uh, Olivia, do you want a, a Chromecast? Um, I have no TV. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, you can use it on a HD, like on a on a, a monitor for like but, but if it's a HDMI enabled as well. It's it's very interesting because I have no TV because the TV uh, I actually don't feel I need one. Yeah. And I think what is interesting is like TV is not a TV anymore, and. Um, and it's getting toward like a, a bigger screen, I'd say. Um, and what is really interesting is that typically the TV was a closed ecosystem. Yeah. Um, and you would get your screen and then your box. And basically, it was really hard to get something from outside of that ecosystem getting into, into your screen. Um, now with Apple uh, TV, Chromecast, and, and, and different or other... Um, uh, devices basically um, it's becoming like the screen is becoming part of the ecosystem and it's what is interesting is that the service is matters more than than your tv yeah so uh, basically it's starting to be open and you might you use the same uh, services but with a different experience yeah. um, and that's that's a big shift and that drives me to soon getting a, a, no, a new TV <laughs> because <laughs> I, I think that basically the experience that uh, uh, I was not happy with, which was like broadcast and and, and uh, not necessarily what I wanted, w is becoming like a lot more appealing. Yeah. So it can be like watching something on TV, but also um, um, for a lot of people, TV is still the center of, of your house. Yeah. Um, so seeing Sonos, uh, also they, they launched recently their TV uh, loudspeakers. Uh, there is a lot of uh, activity around around the TV, and I think the experience is getting better and better. Yeah, and I, I'm super excited about the Chromecast just because it has this little feature that I, I, I'm sure it's not actually that hard to implement uh, if you work in the sort of video uh, sort of s s scenarios, but it automatically switches on your TV if you send something to it and it switches your TV to the right HDMI uh, input to be able to view the image and hear the sound, which I think is, is huge because like the, the pain in the neck that it is to try and do an, uh, you know, an, a stream to the Apple TV from my Mac, 
that consists of me getting up and finding trying to find my TV remote, switching it to the right HDMI input from a DVD player, and then uh, and then being able to do all, to do everything. It's it's yeah, I think it's a huge improvement, and I'm surprised Apple haven't managed to crack that nut quite yet. But I'm sure they'll come to it. No, no more cables. <laughs> no more cables. Yeah, it's amazing. No. If they could get rid of the dishes outside the houses, that would be great as well. Yes. 